Hi, good morning. It's uh, Daryl from Boatshed Riviera. This morning we have a very, very nice boat, a Leopard 24, in quite lovely condition, very well cared for. I'm going to give you a bit of a look around on the aft deck here, which is absolutely massive. Beautiful curved and glazed back doors. Large sunbathing area and that centre section raises hydraulically if you want to turn that into a table. And then going further aft you can see down the stairway to the bathing platform. Behind this uh, transom is a tender garage, got a good, good sized tender in there. Nicely concealed winch and deck gear. A couple of uh, teak side steps up to the side deck. So I'm just going to take you on the port side. Big expanse of glass on the saloon, so plenty of light in there, uh, with also an opening sunroof, you can see there's the panel and uh, electronics, radar and sat gear etc. Way further forward view on the, the foredeck and massive sun lounging area up here as well it's got its own stereo system Again, she's a big boat, but she's got very substantial deck gear. That's a big winch, chain locker. Very impressive boat. It, she's in uh, winter mode at the moment, hence the covers, and not dressed. We, there is another video you're going to see, uh, which will show the boat in all her glory on a, a nice sunny day. But, uh, this gives you the latest up-to-date video just taken as we've listed her. And returning back into the cockpit. I'll take you through into the saloon. Woodwork is in beautiful condition. As is the upholstery and headlinings. There really isn't very much at all to fault with the condition of this boat. Owner really has kept her up very nicely. That's the uh, companionway down to the cabins. We'll go back down there in a moment. Just give you a bit of a shot of the helm. A lot of this uh, nav gear has just been recently up updated. She's uh, water jet powered, so not Arnesons, but water jets with uh, MTU engines. And here's the galley for the upper saloon. A day galley if you like, come bar. Just take you down the stairs. So an office area to one side with a TV on a electric lift in that panel. And quite a bit of light down here. Nice lounge opposite. Going forward. Have our heads port side, the shower, adjacent to that port side, twin cabin, and again, sorry it's a bit dark but we haven't got only got partial electrics on today, that's a, a twin, sorry a double on the uh, starboard side, and going further forward, the companion mate, the master suite,
big wardrobe here. Two nice big port lights on each side. Flat screen TV, another wardrobe. And on one side, uh, heads and wash basin. So nice, um, spacious toilet in here. And to the port side, another matching basin. And instead of the toilet, you've got a, there's your shower. So there's your ensuite shower for the master cabin. Going further aft. This is now the galley. Everything really high spec. Big fridge. On both sides on these two doors here. And then a freezer beneath, again, plenty of storage space for frozen food and fresh food. Nice galley, worktops are in good condition. Nice big double sink. Melee hob. Melee combination uh, microwave. And a conventional oven and also a dishwasher. So everything you could possibly want down here. Adjacent to that is the crew cabin. Two bunks. Again, it's uh, got some upholstery from the front end uh, stored in here at the moment. And then from that area, straight through the uh, submarine door into the engine room. Again, apologies, the light level is a bit low. We, um, there is another video and pictures that are going to show this engine room. Uh, it is in very good condition. Electrics panels. Yeah, just a bit dark at the back there. 